Welcome back, everybody. Time for more Creeper World 3 Arc Eternal. We're in the Groniad system of the Alpha Sector. Blind, no pause as always, and Water Naris is next. Supposed to be quite a tough one. So let's see what we have to work with here. And of course, after this, there will only be the one system remaining. Well, we've got an inhibitor. One command node, all weapons available. Everything but the Thor available. And, of course, any extra command nodes. 100 every two seconds. We've got varying strengths, but some of them pretty strong, uh, the emitters. Digitalis there. Like this, boy, I'm thinking there's a runner thing here. What's that say? 3.4 seconds, not a ton of them. So a couple of these up here. With the Digitalis, I don't know if we can get to that. Like, my initial thought is, command node here and try to get this ore. And, like, I'm just hoping the ore will pile up other places. Let's just give this a whirl. So if we come here. And then we're, not, we're probably not going to be able to use... I'm assuming that the, you know, the creeper is going to fill up the low-lying areas pretty quickly. And that we just need to, yeah, I mean, see, this is this is going away fast. So we'd have to oops, get an always-on sprayer there. There's no spores that I've seen. So if we get a reactor up. This is all right. This is already coming in here. It's I'm already too late. What about this up here? Yeah, that's already overflowing. This is fast. The only safe place for any length of time is down here. But uh, and this is this is going to go pretty quickly. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Okay, so like if this. It just barely gets this in time to save this general area. And probably not for long. Okay, so let's let's put up another reactor. And I think we want uh, mortars to hit the deep parts. Well, let's get a cannon. Let's get a cannon for over here. Yeah, and now we're going to be in trouble because we don't have... Yeah, I, I don't think I move fast enough. Okay, so the way this is flowing, though, it looks like I am like I initially have this area here. So if I put more collectors up over here first, that could help. And then I kind of try to defend this ore spot. Like, I've got to try to defend this ridge right here. Like, get mortars up in here. That seems to me to be the the best idea. But definitely time is of the essence. I'm going to want to be able to start as efficiently as possible. Let's just sort of spread out here. And I don't know that I can do any more than just that right there. Grab the ore mine. Grab a reactor. I'm waiting for the mine to get up. There it is. Let's put the sprayer up. Always on. And get ready to boost the reactor here. Then as soon as that sprayer is up, I'll try building this cannon. See if that's soon enough. Might not be. Come on. There it goes. And this is this is hurting, but I think we're gonna clear it out for the moment. Come on. No, not quite. Okay, so I have to get the sprayer up a little bit faster than that. So and I think if I allow that sort of failure, things are just going to get worse. So, I mean, I mean this is clearly going to be one that takes a lot of attempts and that we have to get off to a, an excellent start in. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the fourth one there and then put that up and reactor. Get those going right away, and then try to search out maybe some decent spots over here. 
And I think we're, I think I'm already too late with the sprayer. Let's just see how this works. Yep, and it's spilling in there. And now it's going to get supplied. It's going to spray around. But it's not quite... I mean, I could have it over here more. There we go. And then this is this is all coming. It's going to flow down in here. Now, now move over here. Let's see if that works. And then we're getting a cannon up here. It's our next deal. Up, oh, we didn't quite save it. Okay, so I've got to I've got to get the sprayer up faster. Thinking if I do this, that's a good one for there. This isn't a bad one for here. And then those I think will give me slightly more energy. And then we'll put up the ore mine. Get that first reactor going. Yeah, it's 2.0 instead of 1.9. It was not a huge difference. And I was thinking about putting the sprayer down here. So it just protects this area. I think it needs to be up there. Well, it's not going to fit there. So we'll put it here. Yeah, I think I actually made it worse. Lost the sprayer. Okay. I've got to find a way to get that sprayer up faster. And again, like this got overflowed really quick. Let me just watch the flow of the creeper at the beginning of this. And you can see it comes up over that quickly. You might potentially survive here. But you'd have no ore. And you're fighting off multiple directions. So I just don't see. I mean, it really looks to me like this is the best area. You'd have this really low section here. We'd have a really hard time defending later on. You'd get the one freeze uh, artifact. But I don't think that's worth it. I just don't see any other way here. Maybe it's get this sprayer up quicker. You know what? I'm going to try that. I'm not even going to build that initial reactor. Again, that seems ridiculous, but... It might not be. There we go. Now you're going to sit right there. Come on, get down there, get down there, get down there. There we go. And now we're going to put a cannon up. Hopefully not too late. Let's see. If I build this reactor and the cannon at the same time, do I have the energy for it? And do I have a choice? Really? Really? Okay, so we're going to have a sprayer here and a cannon. Come on, give me a spot right there. And that's just going to protect sort of this flank. And now I want mortars. Boy, do I ever want mortars. Slowly reducing energy. So I think I'm doing what I want to be. I just got to keep it away from... Oh, doggone it. That's painful. So maybe I shouldn't have moved the cannon, or maybe I should have moved it up here. I don't know. I'm going to try it again, though. I think I think this is the right general idea. Just got to keep working on it. Keep tweaking it. Mortar there, and be ready to deactivate it if I need to. So this cannon and this are trying to fight this back while it swarms around this end. And I've got to depend on this mortar to try it. Maybe I should be building another cannon over here. Okay, that reactor's up, and I'm waiting on this mortar. There we go. Now it's going to start firing. question is whether it does enough. And I, I don't have any energy to build any more weapons. It seems to have held this off, though. This is having trouble, though. This is having some real trouble. As a matter of fact, I've got to back it off. No choice. And then this is probably going to flow over here. Yep. Losing the collector. And we're okay for now, but we don't have any connection. Put up another reactor here. This mortar is pushing things back. So if I can... 
get another mortar anywhere over here, then I might be okay. Maybe. This is flowing down in here. Yeah, I need the energy to catch up, and it's not. That's up. Got to activate the mortar. Okay, lost that. I think maybe i got to try to get a couple more collectors up over this way for some earlier energy. Okay, maybe pull you up there. You'll survive up there better. I don't know if it'll be enough to hold this off, though. Let's see, reactor. Come on, finish building that one. There we go. Maybe move you over there. Lost a collector somewhere. Let's build a mortar down here and then move it wherever we have to move it, but get it building. Lost the ore mine. No point in trying to hold this on there when we don't have the ore mine. Okay, move you up here. No connection to that, so let's move you back here. And we're just losing ground. So we look at the overall depth here. They can maybe leave a cannon up here and put the mortar over there. That might be better. Come on, flow back down the freaking hill. Still going down. Still going down. All right, retreat. Yeah. We're not holding enough of it back from there no matter what I do. And maybe another cannon over here? Like that mortar and then put up a cannon in there? Is there any way that can work? I see this is already coming down in here. So we're already losing this battle. But if I hold off on the reactor doing anything for now, this is coming up. Come on, hurry up and finish. Finish building. Okay, now if I put this like there, that might have a chance. trying to push this back and okay now now this is at least healing this is having trouble but now we're okay now we're holding it to an extent let's build another mortar well we've got we actually got energy problems this is this is holding it but not for long I feel like this is I really got to watch this cannon up oh, there's a reactor that's done let's get another one up yeah, and then that, that cannon over there eventually gives way. I mean, it was closer, but it wasn't enough. Lost the ore mine again. You know, we're trying to get this mortar up over here, but this thing is now a paperweight. Lost a collector. This thing is trying to fight this off. Let's move you back up there. Move you retreat. Yeah. Getting enough energy fast enough is what I can't figure out here. Damn it! And there goes the collector as they cave in this flank again. I, this is holding-ish. So I'm trying to keep that alive. Well, yeah, and there goes the reactor. Well, getting this mortar up. I'm running low on energy. I just can't. This is definitely a really hard one. I, I keep rethinking, you know, where else can I go? I don't see any way that I can do this anywhere else. All right, so after some more practice on this off-screen on Water Nars, I have decided that it's going to get an asterisk. I don't think I can beat it without pausing. I think I'm in the right area doing generally the right thing, but the multitasking, the amount of energy management that you need, just the tolerances and the margins are too close. Don't think I can make it. So what I'm going to do is try to work out a way here to do this. And I think right about this spot right here is as good as any for that collector. 
And I think that's the best first one. So let me just go ahead and roll with that. And now I want to pause there. I want to get this one up for that connection. Right there. And that might be the best one there. And then put this ore mine up there. So that's my next series. Get the ore mine going. And I may want to put more collectors up first eventually. But I'm just going to do this here. And then I want to build more collectors as I have the energy. As my next step. That should be enough. And of course, like you want the best locations first. Okay, so now we're, we're lowering down a bit. So just a little bit at a time. Yep, that took me down to about zero. I think I want one more here. Actually, that's probably a better location. Oh, got a little bit negative there. There we go. And then this is almost built. So I want to put up the sprayer. Oh, and there's no connection to that. Okay, I'll put the collector here then. So as you can see, it's still experimenting with this a bit. And we're we're later than I'd like to be with that sprayer. And I'm wondering where else. Is that worth it? Okay, let's get this reactor. Let's put one there. Again, got to be prepared to turn that off. Don't need to, though. Okay, you move right there in front where you normally are. So it'll spew everything in this area now. And then I'm going to want the cannon right there. Be ready to turn that off if I need to. There we go. And yeah, let's turn this off for just a bit. That should be long enough. And I might have been able to get away with waiting on that cannon a little. Now that's on. Let's get another reactor. And I can feel that it just it seems a little bit better just because I'm taking the extra time here. Okay, I probably waited just a hair long. Let's get this mortar up. Well, not there. Let's put it up there. Then we don't have to move it afterwards. Okay, energy is holding fairly steady. So I'm going to get the cannon up as well. That one will have to move later. Okay, yep, now it's dropping fast with that up. Deactivate. Got a few packets out to you. Okay, I'm going to get that third reactor up. And you know this is this is coming in, so we need these weapons like yesterday. I'm going to try sliding you over here now. I don't know if I can get away with this, but I'm going to try it. Activate this cannon. Yeah, this is flowing over that. Okay. Lost the sprayer. Yeah, this still doesn't work. I've still got to find something more. Okay, so now let's see if I put one here. If I get two more of these up. There we go, and then build the ore mine. So it's just delaying that, that little bit to give us a little more energy head start. All right, you are getting hit. Let's move up. Oh my, I, goodness, I got so much energy that I'm not using. How did I boost that up that fast? So I'm still not really doing it out oh, because the reactor is done. I'm still not doing this as efficiently as I need to. Over there to help the sprayer a little bit more. Oh, but it doesn't matter because the ore mine's going down. It's just not fast enough. So anything hitting this, it should be able to shoot at. Maybe, maybe that works. Now, mortar here. So that's our next problem. You can see this is trying to creep up over here. Yep, it's going to come up. It's going to come up over this way. I'm going to need a cannon over here as well. But this has always been it. See, this is already coming up. So I've got to stop. I just feel like I've got to stop this first. 
And we're really low on energy right now. That's up. So let's move you right there. So that spreads out our fire a little bit more. And it'll give us a minute while that tries to reposition. Oh no, we lost the mortar over here. That's probably fatal. It should have built it somewhere else. Come on, just give me a spot. I don't even care where it is. Because it's cheaper. Get it up faster. Maybe another cannon over here, a cannon here. And stick with the one mortar. See, this is all... This is all going apart. So I feel like I need a second mortar. I think we can. It's taking damage. It's going down, but... Uh, come on, clear it out. Clear it out, clear it out, clear it out. No. That wasn't far away, but it didn't quite... I uh, didn't quite get there. And if I had moved this... Yeah, that, that was the right setup. Okay, mortar. And once again, I'm building the reactors up here, and I should be building them back further. All right, this is up in place, and this is actually better than I remember it being last time. Yeah, right there is a perfect spot. It's going to shoot. I mean, I could put it here, but I like it right there for protection of this and covering of that gap. Still short on energy, but we're holding over here. You know, we don't, we're not getting damaged like we were before. This is definitely my best try. Question is whether it's good enough. This is coming up over here. I'm going to need that mortar over there soon. Come on. I'm going to want this cannon up here eventually, but I'm going to deactivate it for now. Come on. There we go. No. Well, I only lost a collector. Fight it back. Fight it back. Well, I got that reactor up. I need to get another one going. Okay, let's go with there. Because if this can fade back in here, I can rebuild that collector. Yes. Okay, that's what I want. Now, you get rebuilt. This is going to start coming up here. But first things first. Back up to, f okay, five energy now. This is starting to hurt. If I had more help here, what would I do? I'd just put another cannon in place. Or maybe I want another cannon over here and shift this mortar over that way. The thing is, we're short on energy right now. And I don't know if it's good enough. I just need more energy. Yeah, okay. Now it's coming up over this side. This is going to come down in here. Yeah, I, I don't see how I can stop this. We did just get another reactor up. If I throw this mortar over this way. I don't know if I can get away with that. But I might be able to. Oh boy, this is starting to get hit now. That's Oh, it doesn't have any energy. Back it up. There goes that collector, but... Like, at least it can fire from down here. There goes a collector up that way. Are we going to be able to recover this hill or not? Lost a collector. Okay, so now this is fading in. Let's move, uh, let's move you back. Okay, can we do this? Yes. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to build a collector here. This is flowing down in here. This, this mortar, yeah, we're just not stopping it fast enough. Or mine's lost. It's over. Ugh! Now, I'm going to try the cannon approach over here. Instead of the mortar. Whoops. Losing energy. Make sure everybody has all the energy they need. 
Okay, so you you took some damage, but I think you're healing. Let's let's take a look at that. Yeah. Okay, you're going up for now. I think I like that for position because I don't want it to shoot too far over the edge. But we need that next reactor for sure. And then a cannon here. Yeah, you're trying to slide up here. Let's let you fire here for just a bit. Okay. Now, oh boy, this is getting close. I'm going to move you there. Where did I lose a collector? Right here. Okay. About to lose. Oh, I lost the cannon. Okay. It was close, but not quite there. Activate for a bit. Try to finish building. Nope. Oh, and we lost this because this came in. Okay. But that doesn't mean that it was too earth wasn't the right timing. It just means that I could have just put it up here. I should build it up there and then okay. Or I mean maybe I just build it yeah, I build it right down here and then move it up. That's probably as good as anything. So I'm gonna try the forty seven second plan once more. Okay, that's 47.0. We're going to try that, and let's just see what happens now with our energy supply. It's going down a little bit, but not that much. Let's put one in here. Okay, yeah, let's put up that second reactor. You're in position there. And are we actually going to hold this? We are. We're not actually losing energy. We can build both reactors full steam. Okay, yeah, and that was pretty close. I can probably wait till about 47 and a half, 48, but not much longer. All right, there's another reactor up. This is coming, and now I think this is a point at which I got to go with building one reactor, one weapon at a time, because I can't afford to delay these weapons forever. I've just delayed them enough to get that little bit more energy. Activate mortar. Okay, and then what's next is going to be the cannon. And we're spending a little bit more than we're taking in, so I'm right where I want to be with that mortar. Got to get this off of that shelf. Oh, boy. Come on. Nope, not going to make it. Ugh. Brr. Tolerances are so tight. There it is. 48 exactly. Activate. It just started spilling over. I can actually go further than that. Try 49 seconds. Going to keep stretching that out as far as I can. Ooh, boy. We're, yeah. We're energying up here. Let's... Let's get a reactor in there. Yep, and it got it started firing just before the creeper started getting up here. I think we might be able to save it this time. Oop, we didn't activate you. Let's definitely do that. Deactivated. We're gonna want a cannon over here. See, I think that was the spot. Deactivated. Nope. Not fast enough. I've got to get that mortar firing a little bit sooner. So we're at the save at the point now. Where I've just made a save at this point so that I can, yeah, let's do that. Let's get ready to activate. Forty-nine seconds. Come on. Oh no no nope. It's not going to work. So I've got to get this healed more before I push up here. There we are. 50 seconds. Activate sprayer. I think we activate the cannon here. Nope. We activate this reactor, then we do the cannon later. Okay. There we go. 
And we're fine, so we'll try 51. Come on, land, 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 land. Yeah, and that thing just dies too fast. Come on, it just, it didn't save it. Came close, but it didn't save it. You're going to slide up there. And here comes the damage. Can we heal it in time? Yes. But that, that, that was really close. So I think 51 seconds is, in fact, our ultimate target. Uh, 35 and 51 seconds, or mine and sprayer. I'm happy with those amounts. Okay, yeah, this is going down. Deactivate. Oh, no, no, no. But this is taking damage, so I can't... Yeah, I can't back off. But it looks like we have enough energy here. Now it's starting to fill. Oh, I lost the ore mine. Good grief. A little bit more precision might have prevented that, though. And here we are again. I'm going to make one further adjustment. I want to do less of the collectors that are getting really small areas, like the ones like up here, up here. I think that they're just not worth the tiny bit of energy that they're going to give me. Let's do one here and that one there, and then I'm going to call it. And then now they are, this is three, so as soon as we can, we're going to go to that one next. There we go. Probably won't be able to keep you up, but we're going to have you on for now. Well, maybe we can. And then this is, yeah, this is going to be destroyed. Okay, so I want that one more uh, collector here. But I think this is my best shot. Get more reactors up, you know, less collectors, and then try to, I got to try to get this up in time to save this, which would potentially get me a chance to get this up here. Okay, so we are a minute 31 in on this particular save that I set up, and we've been to a very, very similar position to this many times. We've got the usual collector arrangement, just starting to build weapons, you know, sprayers up there. And I did some off-screen testing from this position. A lot of it, a lot of tweaking, a lot of whatever, and I eventually was able to find a way to get to a point of equilibrium. So... Let's see if I can recreate it. This is, uh, <laughs> this really is a bear of a level. Okay, and a couple main things. One is I've been cheating a little bit and paying for it on the energy. I really got to make sure that I don't, because whenever I run short of energy, it'll draw energy from multiple items to shorten it. And then one of the items it'll sh draw energy from, of course, is whatever reactor is building, and then we won't have enough you know that, that that'll shorten our energy in the long term so once you com once i commit to having the reactor building i want to build it okay so now we have just finished that one we're going to activate this mortar and we are going to activate this see we got close to topping out on energy but we didn't and that's fine we'll use it up this is gradually healing and then the next thing i'm going to want and this was a key thing for me to discover is a mortar right here not a cannon. I just need to thin this out or keep it from building up too much. But I'm not going to build it just yet because, of course, we got to get this one up first. And there, there's sort of a, a, a symmetry here to, you know, build one reactor with a weapon type of thing. There we go. This reactor is now up. You can see we've got a pretty good amount of energy. Now I'm going to activate this. At the same time, Move this guy down there. Now this was a key thing that I discovered. And essentially what I want to do is I want to hold off here, hold off here, and allow whatever creeper is going to pile up to funnel in here. And then have the AC, you know, because it's got to build up pretty high to, want to actually get in there. And as it trickles in, the AC can handle it. Now that won't last indefinitely, but it'll last for now. So that's my next objective and of course we must always 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 be building reactors we 
Whoa, we went negative. Okay. Shouldn't have let that happen. So let's go up there. And there's a little bit of off and on here that's got to happen. And I definitely want these to be targeting the creeper. And yeah, let's deactivate that. So I want to keep the uh, the reactor going, but then within that, get this mortar up as soon as possible. 43. Okay, we've got to deactivate it for just a bit more. Of course, mortars cost more, but the gain is substantial as well. And you can see this is starting to gain a little bit of ore, or AC rather. And as that stocks up, it's going to help me later on. Okay, there's our next reactor up. 5.3 energy. Let's see, let's see. I, I definitely want to keep moving back this way with the reactors. Fit in as many as we can. My next deal is going to be a cannon up on here. You can see, yeah, now we're, we're barely having enough energy at the moment. So we're definitely not going to do that yet. But now this is going to hit out here and start that whole process rolling. We are shorting out on energy just a bit here. But there we go. And now that that's in place, I actually want to move this right out there. Of course, every time you relocate, it gives you a little bit of pause in using the energy. But the, from here... It can hit most of this area. It's going to be a lot harder for this to come up here. And I think I was a little late getting this reactor up. Let's. There we go. Now we'll reduce that energy again. Yeah, and energy is uh, going down slowly, which is pretty much exactly where I want it. And again, we can see the, the AC here. We've got about 20 or so. So if this were to come over here stronger, this has got plenty of firepower. Now, on the other hand, I'm not using it as much up here, but again, all it was stopping is this flowing up this way. So this is now up, which means I feel like I can afford to move that up this way. And I'm just going to hold off on building anything else for the moment. Okay, now here's where I'm not entirely sure. Like, what do I want to build next? But generally on this level, I think I want more mortars. And I think having another one over here or over here is going to be useful. And I'm not sure which one, but if I could fit one, you know, I mean, there, there's plenty of deep area out there like it to be up here rather than back here but I'm just gonna stick one right there for now and of course I can always move it I'm definitely gonna want one over here next if I do that and we're only gonna build this slowly because of the need for more reactors and as a matter of fact I'm gonna leave that off and when I get the energy I'm just gonna add let's just add another there we go. So just get that next reactor up quicker. Now we could activate, and then now we can think about putting this up again. Yep, and it's still, whoops, still not ready. Now, right in here is an area that I like to use as a general rule of thumb in terms of where's the creeper going. If we just watch it, just I'll totally leave the mouse alone. 15.8. You can see that that's moving up pretty quickly. So we are not near equilibrium point just yet. We've got to slow down that rise and eventually reverse it. Okay, yep, we went negative there. Wasn't paying quite close enough attention. All those little mistakes add up over time. So I've got to really minimize those. Okay, and now we're... We're firing over here, so we should have better protection on this side. And, yeah, we're definitely going to want to just build more energy at this point. Okay, and we're slowly gaining energy. Let's do the two-reactor trick again. And this is going to be a problem over here. 
think I'm going to move this one over there now and then build my next mortar back up here because I've used it to sort of wear this down a little bit. I'm going to hope that progress can uh, maintain itself. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then use that extra energy we're going to get to power through these reactors. Well, let's deactivate that one. But we got it a third built. Activate again. Ooh, lost a collector. Where? Okay, this is coming up over here. So this is going to start firing and hopefully... Ah, shoot. Yep, see, I don't know if I got over here in time. Let's back off to there. For now, I just want to throw a cannon up here. Now, this should shoot at this over here, but let's just throw this cannon up and then put it wherever we need it. Okay, there we go. Now this is, let's see if we can push this back down much at all. Yeah, it's still coming up over here. So we're, we're surviving over here, but barely. Got the reactor done and didn't notice. Yeah, but now this is coming up over here as well. I feel like we've got this under control so for the moment, yeah, for the moment I want that cannon here. Deactivate. There we go, and then that should hold off over here a little bit better. This is coming up here, hoping we can hold that off. So I want to get another mortar in place there. And deactivate. Let's move you back here. So that you're not totally destroyed. There we go. Boost that energy more. Once this mortar comes up over here, we'll be okay in this zone, I think. So it's just a constant back and forth. We can see that our... AC here is still doing just fine. We're pretty balanced on energy. It's a constant thing I want to look at. Let's put up another reactor there next. Okay, now I can push you back up there where you were. So far, so good. So, one thing I have to mention here real quick, in the interest of full... Whoop, there we go. There's a, another reactor up. I had uh, I had saved it just there, and then I had resumed. And I actually completed everything. And then realized that I wasn't recording. Yeah, that was uh, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, rage quit I've had in many a long... I actually was got angry enough that I felt physically ill. Just because this has been a tough level. I mean, this has not been a walk in the park, and you know, I'd finally gotten through it. And then, you know, that initial moment of success when you finally complete... So I, wasn't a, I wasn't able to capture it because it... Yeah. Unhappy. So let's see if I can hopefully recreate it without too much chaos. Now I want I want another cannon over here. I'm going to want another mortar here. And I think another mortar up this way is what I need to be reasonably secure here. Because we're still, and we're going to look at this, yep, it's still going up. And uh, I think the biggest parts are actually like over here. You see that's 57 and change. You know, and, and then up here is a decent spot to look at overall levels. But in any case. And yeah, I'm I'm not paying as close attention to this as I should. And I'm letting... It's, it's still too early in things to really let energy get out of control. Okay, so let's put that there. And you can see like it's still pressing around us pretty good. So I want this one here 
to help hold things off. I want that over there. And then I want another mortar, like about there. Okay, and we have, we are still having plenty of energy. So, yeah, I don't really want to go there. Let's, uh, let's slot one right there. And I don't want to go too much higher with energy before I start. Eventually I'm going to need to chirp some things and get some more efficient uh, placement. Yep, and here we go. That was just coming up over the edge. It's not anymore. But uh, all the more reason to get this up. And uh, yes, please don't come in here and kill me. Oh, and we're negative on energy, not by a little bit either. Okay, that's right. I, I still had, boy, I keep building a second reactor. I've already got one going. That's a mistake. Okay, and now we're going to start getting some firing out of that. Let's activate this. And I think we need to boost up our energy at this point. Let's move you there. Get you that little bit more range. You can see this is drying up pretty good now. So we're we're feeling secure on this side. You can see this is actually some of the AC is actually trickling up here. So that's pretty good. Let's get another reactor here. Okay, that's not going to take us down much. Let's get uh, another mortar. And once I get that out there, I'm going to feel pretty secure about our overall situation. There, you can see this drying up. That's very nice. Energy a little bit low yet. Let's move you here. There we go. And let's see, I would like, I don't know if I can hold it, but I want to try putting that out there. Oh, it's going to get hit at first, but can we push this back enough? And I don't think we can. Let's move back here. Another reactor there. And I'm going to start working on the turp now. Want to level out some things and be able to just place things more efficiently. Not sure if I have enough energy to do it yet or not. Of course, the more you place, the more you've got to potentially move, the less options you've got, the less space. So, let's see. Maybe I can just move you forward that little bit. Just do a partial. Yeah, but now we're starting to stack up AC. So that's going to be a new problem. because It's actually a nice problem to have because this thing is not needed. Because there's very, very little uh, creeper coming down. Okay, so let's see. If we terraform, what's this level? So I think that's 6. So if we terraform to 6. Let's see, let's just level this out. See what we can fit in there to start with. There we go.
Looks like I do have enough energy for this. Okay. Let's do there. And then I want to go over one more little bit here. Bingo. Okay, keep creating room. And now I want to add cannons. I want to keep gradually building reactors. Yeah, we don't have a lot of extra energy. There we go, getting stunned a bit by Mr. Lovely Runner there. And you know what, I don't really need to do this yet. And you know what, I don't want to do it yet either. No, not gonna, not gonna make that move. Let's so uh, let's see if we can survive there. And if not, it'll be fine. Just want to see if we can do it. Worst case scenario, we just get some of this shot out of the way. Okay. Another reactor. Look at that going down. So it looks like we have achieved equilibrium or at least close to it. It tends to ebb and flow because this has a two second interval. Look at some of these, like that's really strong. That's basically six times as strong as a normal emitter. That's a few times stronger than normal. Yeah, so most of these are stronger than normal. Some of them a lot stronger than normal. And we're maxing out on energy again. Okay, let's take that down. And this is not a bad time to start thinking about relays either, I don't think. Let's... I'd like to put a relay in there, but I need to terraform it first. This is... Yeah. Let's see if I do... If I raise, raise and lower everything to this level, let's just try that. Okay, this is doing okay. Hardly anything is getting down in here. So it's a little bit risky. But we're going to move you back up there where you were. There we go. And now we're going to use the AC again. Bingo. Yeah, I'll just throw that relay there. Maybe put one up here. And one up here. And that should give us some decent connections to various things. Not everything. Let's uh, put a relay there. And then maybe one here. Okay, we'd have to we have to do some terraforming there to create room. Let's flatten that little bit out. But you can see that, like, we're actually, at this point now, we're actually winning. Not by a lot. I mean, we've got a lot of work to do yet. But this is the point at which, okay, now we're being successful in the overall goal. And I did a little more hemming and hawing last time, but... It's, 
It's not going to be easy, but my goal is to get here because I want the Aether so I can do upgrades. Once I can do upgrades, I can do a lot of other things. <coughs> and part of that's just going to be creating more room. Let's see. Don't think that I want you in there. Let's try this out. Yeah, um, let's get rid of you then. Just flatten this out wherever we need to. That's not a bad little bridge. There we go. Throw a couple of those up there. And we've used up now most of the AC as we're trying to plow away here. you down okay yeah let's maybe go up to seven there okay eight Then we're going to have a little bit of a gap here, but that's all right. And then let's see. Let's see. Yeah, let's make all of this six. So really, I think just what I want to do here is just make... I'd like to keep a spot there for this to even operate. Yeah, and we're fairly low on energy now, so let's just wait it out. And, of course, one of the reasons is this guy is pretty low. So we're doing okay over here, but not spectacular. Let's deal with that. We, we don't have to allow that situation to continue. I think this is level 8. Yeah. Let's just level all of this out. Get another weapon up there. Again, I want to leave that one open in case I want to use it with the turp later. There we go. And yeah, let's let's get this as well. One square over, I should be able to cram a relay in there. There we go. <clears throat> Just get a little more firepower up in that zone. Flatten this one out. That'll give me a little more room to operate, and I'll throw a reactor up there. Okay. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I think it's time to move out. A couple more mortars. And get more aggressive about pushing on this way.
Now, I did quite a bit of considering last time. It's one of the things about redoing something, you have a much better idea of how you want to do it. And I want to stick like a, a platform right there. And then I'll just put a relay on top of that. And connect to these to get my forge going. But of course to do that, we've got to have some more firepower out that way. And we're going to want to terraform See, this would be very useful. Let's move it. And then for now, let's put another mortar over here. We can always replace that. This is, I think, six. Yeah. And so eventually I want to clear this out and get <clears throat> Yeah, and that's not level 6. Hold on. That's 5 must be. Yeah, there we go. And now we've evened that out as somewhere that we can operate in. I just want to gradually add cannons to the picture. You're not doing much of anything. Let's throw you down there. Energy becoming a bit of an issue. Throw up a couple more. <laughs> One more of those, I said. And just wait for the energy to catch up. But yeah, having this AC in here is going to help us get set up. Well, it's still a fairly dangerous deficit. I'm not really liking it. There we go. But now you're done with your work over here. Relay. Activate. And then we got to find somewhere to put the forge. Which is a whole other ball of wax. And let's just come back down this way. And flatten some things out. So, let's see. There. There. And then, you know, it wouldn't hurt to just... Create a little area like that. Take a bit of time. Eventually going to want to get rid of that. So yeah, let's just block this all off. Use part of it for the forge and part of it for other things. got the energy let's go ahead and charge yep and that's getting stunned every once in a while so I'm gonna want to head back up there and deal with that I forgot about that issue here I am saying, yeah, I've done all this before, blah, 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 piece of cake, and then not actually fully preparing the ground. I'm going to 
gonna retreat you to about there. Send you over here. And I just wanna have another stand. Say right there. That we're gonna put a sniper on. Of course, we'll eventually need the sniper. Let's go there with the forge. And get that rolling first. And energy's still a little bit iffy, but one, we've got more room now. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to want to get rid of this. I'm not sure how far down I'm going to want to do this, but... Okay, why don't you come back here? And... Why is that? Oh, you're not completely done yet. So we've got to get that little bit off that corner. Goodness, I'm just going to put you down there just to, there we go, bingo, now you can go back, now, sniper, that'll be a good spot for you and we're not going to get stunned anymore once you're in business, forge is up and running, let's get some more energy from it. Okay, right there. You retreat to work this out. We'll build some more over here as well. Now, I'm not going to bother going for these two ores. See what we're going to do next in just a bit. First of all, we got to clear this out. reactor at a time and keep boosting the energy efficiency we'll eventually climb our way out of this there's the sniper in place energy is starting to come along better There we go. Start building a few of them at a time. That's always a promising sign. Okay, so my next step is to energy up and then go birthing. Because if we look at this, yeah, it's 37 or something. We need to lower the overall uh, situation here. We've got too much... Too much creeper to really advance effectively. So in order to fix that, we need to eliminate some of it. And of course the question is, well where am I going to put the Berthas? I'm just going to try to clear out a nice spot right in here, eventually. Let's see, terraform, eight. And we need to get you up there somewhere near that.
And then I would like a relay. That'll work. Let's add a cannon there. And maybe add one here. Move you up here, and you right there. I think that'll work. Yeah. And then... Maybe there. And here, and we're just sort of spreading things out. Partly create room. Let's eliminate that. And yeah, eight is where we want to be. Start chopping down this area. I just want to create bigger uh, segments. I think for now I don't want that relay. Alright, let's put one here. And that's not perfect placement. But I think I'll suffer with it. Yeah, let's do something like that. For now, you're all going to auto. I'm probably going to want more. But I'm going to live with that at the moment. The other thing I'm going to do is, this is level 9 here, and it kind of goes this way. I'm just going to start filling this in a bit. I'm really not close enough to do that much yet. Move you, yeah, move you there. I don't think we can fit another one in yet, nope. We definitely don't need both of you over here. Bring one this way. And boy, yeah, that's that's up a lot higher. Okay. Now it's time to go with our normal routine. And start the general upgrades. And looks like we're going to need more energy upgrades next. You know what? I'm going to fill that spot. Fill that one as well. I think I'm okay with filling over here. And then, like, just moving the Berthas up this way. Let's see. Let's put you... I don't see any reason not to put you there. And then put you there. And then 
slide you right alongside. It's a protective force. Come on. There we go. That looks like that's going to be all right. And it might be a little tight now, but we'll push it back more as time goes by. Okay, let's terraform. Something like that. Stick in another Bertha. And we'll have you auto as well. That's four of them now. Boost energy. We lost a mortar. Where? Right here. Okay. And I don't want to let that situation stand. We'll move you there. Throw in another mortar. Eh, throw in a couple. Lost the relay. Now that's a bigger deal. Now we've got problems. Because that takes away my aether. And so what I think I want to do is just plop down another mortar that will stick right there. I just want to... Overkill is better given the options. Okay, this is up to 38. But now we're pounding, you know, some of the deeper areas that are in the 50s or more. And this is always going to be a big one right over here. As we lower the overall levels, this will get easier. But also, let's move that in. Throw another cannon in here, but mostly we have enough units. Now, what do I want to move there? Maybe you? Yeah, let's do that, and then leapfrog you in here. Now we want to start our push, and I'm going to get... I want to create a wedge that generally goes over this way because we just want to take out the inhibitor. We don't need anything else. And I need a sniper. I'll make you down there because the runners are still going to be around. And the other thing that's interesting about this, 3.4 seconds. So this, uh, these runners spawn out like... And there obviously is a limit out of them, like 20 or something, because otherwise there would there would be the whole map would be flooded with them, and I'd be have much bigger problems than I actually do. And then I just want to gradually move forward. There's a range that's going to be a nice one. Move there and here. Whoops, okay, fine, we'll switch it up. You can see it's tempting to try to take this ore spot, and I may yet do that, but I don't think I'm ready for it yet. And I just want to keep moving the weaponry forward as much as I'm able. Okay, let's, yeah, let's move up there. No, 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 I don't want you up that far. See, down here. Let's grab you. Yep, okay, getting stung, getting stunned there because I don't have my sniper in place. Let's, uh, let's see, let's pull you down here. I need to get my sniper on the high ground. There it is. Throw in another Bertha. Auto target. 
You don't necessarily need it immediately, but of course, the more the merrier. Starting to see a little bit more terrain in here. Let's see if we can hold that. Probably can afford bringing you up in there. We missed a square. Let's fill that in. So the overall, you see this is getting steeper. It's down to 30. It was at 37 or so not that long ago. So there's still quite a bit of creeper on the map, but we're getting it under control. And I think it's probably a good time for some shields to help us push our way into the final objective. Whoa. Okay, how about it's time to not put up those shields? All right. Grab some more reactors. And I think we're basically close enough at this point. Let's see, let's throw... Some more up there and of course we could try to push off this way try to take out some of this other stuff grab that artifact all that i think is superfluous and i'm going to keep throw just because of the relatively limited space i'm going to keep throwing everything i can into the energy and i could i could grab these at this point not going to bother i mean this emitter is fairly close but we're just going for the jugular Okay, let's activate shields. Let's get a relay up closer. That should get us to where we need to be. And then you know, we want to just steadily move in. One shield online. No, I don't want to move the relay. Can't move the relay even if I wanted to. There we go. Let's get those two shields. That'll get us a little bit more push. And yeah, let's move up the sniper a little bit. Let's boost fire rate and then range. To really, you know, really get in here. Let's see there, and then I gotta think we're close enough. Right there. Should be able to hold that. So we'll forget about the range and we'll just boost the build speed. Ugh. 
So we're getting stunned some here. Let's move this in a little bit more. Still not really up far enough. Maybe I should have boosted the range instead. Probably. I think it will eventually take him out. Yeah, here we go. And there's Water Naris for the second time. Took me about 10 minutes less on this occasion. Everything blows up. Now, I got the Nest Ender for killing a, you know, overall, over many levels, the required amount of runner nests. And I got the Fine Wine Achievement also before, and that's the one for defeating everything in the Graniad system. So this one is a real bear, and, you know, the whole, the whole thing that I mentioned about this having been called arguably the best or toughest, rather, mission in the Alpha Sector. I can't argue with that. I think it's one of, if not the toughest, level that I've played. So I'm hoping there's not too many more like it in the next system, which is Virgil W. Virgil W is the only thing that's left. I'll be hitting that next time. But until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Water Naris. Hope it was worth me finishing it not just once, but twice. And we'll be back soon with the final system in the Alpha Sector.